Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be filming a uh, hand-painted nail art Halloween tutorial. Um, I did want to say really quick that every single thing that I see in this video that should be linked down below will be linked down below with the links to everything. Um, and I'm so sorry for the breathing in this video. My mic is right next to my mouth, so I just did want I just wanted to tell you guys that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really like it, and let's get into it. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I told you guys that I was back to being consistent and I was actually being serious. So um, I'm really excited for this video because this is going to be super, super fun. I had a lot of people request that I do some more hand painted nail art videos and stuff like that. So today I'm going to be taking five um, nails and I'm going to be showing you guys five super easy designs. Um, for Halloween that you guys can do on either yourselves or your clients or press on nails for your customers or anything like that. Um, so these designs are friendly for any type of nail, um, like nail tech or nail artist to do. And I'm just going to be showing you guys what we're going to need. So what I'm going to be using to show you guys the design is these extra long coffin chips from King of Nail. I just have a lot of them, so I'm just going to use them up. Um... This is size zero for all of them. And I have my nail buffer. It looks used because this is the one I use specifically for press on nails only. But um, like for when I practice on my press on nails. So I just use one buffer because it's not getting used on a person. So I don't want to like waste product, you know. So I always use the same one if I'm going to practice on these. And I have my nail file. This is a new nail file. I got this from my local nail supply store. And I think this is a 100-100 grit um, or 80-80 grit. It's one of the two. It actually might be 80-100. Yeah, it's 80-100. So this is the uh, nail file I like to use. I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of cool tips and I'm doing this in real time, which is cool because I never get to do this. I always do voiceovers most of the time. I use a new file um, for every client. This is the one I only use for um, my press on nails. That's why it looks all busted up and ugly. Um, but most of the time, I don't actually use these on all of my press-on nails. I always use this one. I actually just recently started using this kind. This kind is honestly better because if you have one of these little stands, you could literally get in here really easily right here and file the edge of the nail um, when you're going to file. And to be honest, this one gets difficult because it's so wide. Do you see how it's hitting like the side of the other um, nail next to it so I hate that and that's why I use this smaller one so that's just a tip if you're like into new into doing press-ons I really recommend these instead of the jumbo nail files um and then yeah I already talked about my file right here I'm going to show you guys what I have right next to me as far as what we're going to need so I have a little jar or a little like dappin dish cup um, this is what I use specifically for acetone and alcohol. I don't use these ones for monomer just because I feel like they're way too small and they tip over and stuff like that. Um, and I have a few nail brushes here. You guys don't need all of them, but I'm just going to show you guys all the options that you could use. I'm really trying to make this as friendly as possible for anybody that's just beginning or anybody that doesn't even have that much supplies to work with. And, um... So the main thing you're probably going to need is a dotting tool. This is like so universal. It's so easy to use and I really, really love using these. So I have a small tip one and most of the time when you're doing these, you can buy one double tipped. So this one um, comes with like one tip on each side and it comes with these on the bottom. That one's so busted up because I used it for, no, I have it sitting in my dish like that. So that's no longer usable. But anyways, um... Yeah, you can use a dotting tool, either the big one or the skinny one. I'm going to show you guys here. We'll just keep both out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm completely freestyling this and doing this with you guys. And then as far as my brushes, I have a smaller brush here, which are like the shorter ones. I really like using these and you're going to see what we're going to use those for. Uh, most of the time, these honestly come in little packs. If you're going to order these, please get them from AliExpress. Um, literally, you can get these at, like, your nail supply store and they raise the price, like, a few dollars on you, like, literally. So if you don't mind waiting, um, I highly suggest either Amazon or AliExpress so you can get, like, a cheaper price on them. And they always come in, like, sets. Like, for example, these three came in, like, a set. 
um and they're so pretty they're rose gold and i got these from aliexpress so if you're looking into getting these same brushes i will for sure leave the link down below for you guys so that you guys can order them for yourselves so i kind of wanted to show you guys these brush tips just because this brush right here in the middle i actually cut myself you might be able to see it right there a little bit it used to look thick like this one and i wanted a super thin fine tip so i honestly grabbed some of it off and i just cut it off like you feel free to do that if you feel like your brush needs to be thinner like you don't need to go out and buy a new brush if you don't want to you know if you want to buy a new brush feel free to go for it but like i said um these are from aliexpress and i think i literally paid a few dollars for like the whole set of these so you're not you know it's not like you're wasting a lot of your money and i'm still gonna get use out of it even though i cut it so these are these three and i know for a fact i don't think i'm gonna be using this one i just wanted to show you guys for sure we're gonna probably be using these right here so that's what we're gonna be doing and then right here i have a little bit of um pure alcohol like the nail alcohol or whatever like i have that in here and i'm just gonna move this to the side or i don't know if i should leave this like that maybe i'll just leave this here so this is where our brushes are gonna be um and then what i wanted to show you guys as well is some of the colors that i took out that are like halloween-ish i want this video to be friendly for anybody that's just beginning so i grabbed some of my normal dnd gel polishes which are some really easy gel polishes to get um if you're looking to get these i recommend your local nail supply store or either dtk nail supplies um on google if you search up like um dnd like nail like gels um it should come up so i got most of these from there and most of these from my local nail supply store here in san jose so i got these colors right here these are the reds that i'm going to be using we have ferrari red raspberry um and then boston university red so i'm going to kind of show you guys what each of them looks like really quick this one's like a true red, like a cherry, like lipstick kind of red. This is like that perfect red, basically. And then I'm going to go ahead and look at this one. I really like this red. I know I've used this one a lot, too. This is more of a sheer red. Do you guys have an idea what I'm going to use the reds for? I'm really excited. I've never done nails like this before. This is a really nice, thick like blood red which is exactly what we're, we're gonna need so that's perfect and i think i'm gonna probably be mixing the three I'm not really sure yet but if i need to do some mixing i'm gonna mix on my little rhinestone tray i use this for everything i literally use this to mix colors on and to put rhinestones on and these are like 99 cents you can get them at a lot of different places as well um i think i got mine from either aliexpress or zule's nail shop on instagram when i purchased my rhinestones so yeah i got that i have this jet black from eye gel beauty this is like one of the best gel blacks i've ever used it's really really nice and yeah so i'm gonna use that one and then right here we have one more darkish red which is called winter wine and it's like a burgundy more so like like a dark burgundy but yeah we might end up using this one i'm not sure yet and then right here i have plum which is a really nice deep purple color which is super nice for like halloween time and then right here i have a true white which is baby powder from eye gel beauty this is my favorite white i have ever used and in the beginning when i first started when i was a beginner i literally was having so much trouble finding a good white and this one's really really good next is orange sherbet this is like a true orange just a simple orange i've had this for a long time that's why it is kind of ugly <laughs> and then my last one i don't think i've ever used this one before is a eye gel beauty glow in the dark color it's called kumquat tangerine i don't know if eye gel still having their sale but this is like a yellowish orange i don't know if we're going to use this one either if i do it's going to be like used for like some highlights and detail work which would be cool because it'll be glow in the dark so that's what this is and i think it glows orange and then yeah so i think that's all we're gonna need and now we're finally gonna get into the tutorial i'm sorry that i took so freaking long um what i do first is i'm gonna go ahead and buff all the nails and i'm just gonna try to leave this like a little asmr thing i'm not gonna talk during this
doing is filing off the edges with my nail file like this. Oops. this and this is what they look like now what I'm going to be doing is you're gonna have to apply a gel base coat um I'm not actually going to apply it just because these aren't for actual like these aren't for like a client or anything like that like I was saying um honestly these nails are just gonna get like saved <laughs> I like to save the ones I practice on so this is the gel base coat I really like it's from iGel Beauty and it's really nice consistency and I highly recommend it. So if I am doing press-ons for somebody that purchased them, I always use a gel base coat. Um, either one or two coats, just depending. These nails are pretty sturdy. Um, but I do use, I believe, two coats when I'm doing extra long length. So there's that. We're honestly just going to go in and paint the colors on. So for this one, I think we're going to go in and do black for this one I just wanted to show you guys this color it's called witching hour from iGel beauty it's a black glitter this is so pretty for Halloween. I'm going to keep this here just in case I decide to use it. Another color I'm going to add in is this color called Fireflies from Eye Gel as well. This is a perfect orange. I love this orange as well. So I'm going to keep this one here. And then the one I wanted to use as well as this one called Fluffy Bunny. This is a gray like a really nice gray so I've never used it and I really want to try to use it for a set okay so I think we're gonna go ahead and go in with gray on this one And then we're going to for sure do white on this one over here. And then I'm going to go in with, hmm, I'm not sure if I should do maybe like a dark purple, maybe like this color. Or actually, we're going to do another black. We're going to do another black right here. Yeah, we're going to be going in with this kind of orange one for the middle. Okay, and 
now I feel like that's pretty good so that's what the colors are gonna look like and I'm gonna go ahead and put them to dry okay and then I just cured them for 60 seconds in the nail lamp now the first one I really want to try out which is gonna be kind of kind of gory so I kind of want you guys to click out of this video if you don't like seeing like blood even though it's completely fake and it's made with nail polish just click out of it if you're not if you don't like something like that um so this one is going to be super cool i've never tried this before you're going to get a paper towel and completely cover your whole nail space you're going to grab another paper towel and you're going to cover um you know the other nails that you're doing as well so i'm just going to cover them like this that should be good so now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my, oh, let me make sure you guys can see. I'm going to zoom out. Okay, this is what it looks like. So I completely covered the area. I'm grabbing my little triangle thing. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Boston University Red from D&D. &D. For sure, probably a lot of this color actually. I really like this one. So I'm doing that one. I'm going to go in with a little bit of raspberry. Okay. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit of winter wine. And you're kind of just dabbing it on there. I already went in with raspberry. Should we do a little bit of the Ferrari red or is it too... It might be too red. Yeah, it might be a little bit too red. So now this is the fun part. I'm grabbing a plastic straw. I don't have paper ones or, um, sorry. No, I'm grabbing a reusable one. This is like the thick plastic one that you can reuse. I don't have the other like disposable plastic ones because we're trying to save the turtles. So I grab this and then you're gonna kind of like dip it in here and like swirl it around. You're probably not gonna be able to use this straw anymore by the way. So I'm going to grab it like that. I hope this red is like th like thick enough, like red enough. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to add a tiny bit of black. A tiny bit of black. Like a dot right there. And now we're going to mix it in. I used to be really into like special effects makeup and stuff like that. I still am and I know how to do it really well. So I love stuff like this. This doesn't gross me out or anything. So this is what it looks like. It really does look like thick blood, which was the goal. So kind of get it into your straw like this. Make sure it's all in there. And you're going to blow onto your nail from the other side of the straw. I've never done this, so I don't know how it's going to come out. I'm really scared. Okay, I think I need more. And it looks a little dark. Let's do Let's do more of the raspberry one. No, more of the university one. Okay. And then we're going to grab more of the Ferrari red, which is this true red color. Hopefully that works a little bit better. There we go. I think that looks a little bit better. So now we're going to grab it in our straw again. I'm so scared. Oh, that looks so disgusting. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Okay, so it like dripped everywhere. I guess that's fine, right? Okay, so now that is a splattered blood nail. And look how cool it looks. I really, really like it. I'm just going to leave it like that, honestly. I don't know, like, what it was supposed to look like, but I guess it looks pretty cool. Okay. 
So we're just gonna put that into the UV lamp to dry. Okay, so now I was drying for 60 seconds and this is what it looks like. This was one design that you can do. It's just like a blood splatter nail, super easy. Literally that took me like less than a minute. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a really cool Jack Skellington nail. And what I do is I grab this white and I'm honestly just gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my large round uh, dotting tool. Maybe it'll stay, okay. My large round dotting tool and I'm going to draw out two eyes kind of going in So I think I actually want to do like a reverse like Jack Skellington so he's usually like white but I think I'm going to do this version of Jack Skellington where he's a different color. So we're just going to grab the two, make the two eyes and this looks is going to look kind of crazy at first. Then I'm going to go in with my thicker brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint it in. Oh my gosh, my hands are so shaky. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I hope I didn't make the eyes like too big. I need to make this eye bigger. Okay. And then for the mouth, you're going to go in. He has a really deep smile. So you're going to go kind of like this. Like that. And then right here, he always has like this under his eyes. I hope you guys can see, okay. So that helped me kind of smooth that out. We're going in. Like that. And then he has two little slits for his nose and lines going all the way down like this and there you have your uh, jack skellington nail super super cute and you don't even have to draw like the actual like head around it you could but i kind of like it like this it looks super cool so i'm just gonna leave it like that oh let me fix this side there we go so that's what that looks like i'm gonna go ahead and put this in Okay guys, so I just finished the Jack Skellington nail and now what we're going to do next is we are going to do this super cool like tombstone with like um, like a little tree and a little bat like type of scene. So let me see, I'm going to grab the black. I'm just going to use this same little tray. I'm going to use a little bit of black. I might need more than that, but... Just for now that's fine and i'm going to grab my brush and you're going to start from the bottom and you're just going to go like this 
hope you guys can see good. And literally the perfect thing about trees and stuff like that is that n trees are never exactly the same. Every single tree that you will ever see in your life is different. So that's super cool. So your tree doesn't have to be perfect. It can be wiggly. Your hands can be shaky. It doesn't matter. And your tree will still look super cute. So I'm grabbing this. I literally love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. So that's just a little fun fact about me. So you're going to make the bottom a little bit thicker. Make sure the tree actually has little ridges and bumps and stuff like that. Because natural trees do have those. So you're going to start with something like this. And then you're going to slowly add your branches on. Maybe like that. And then probably do another one starting from down here. Another one from right here. And then slowly add on as you go. I hope you guys can see I'm gonna zoom back in there we go wow I should have done that earlier so like this and then you're gonna kind of go like that I don't really know how to explain it basically you're literally just gonna do random swiggles like it doesn't even need to be perfect the more imperfect actually the better your tree will probably look so yeah that looks super cu cute so that's what I'm gonna do and then now what we're going to do is I'm going to cure that in the lamp. Or actually, I'm not going to draw on a few more things first. So now I kind of want to draw on like a cool little like tombstone or something like that. So I'm going to just go in and do like the little... Oh. Like do a little line right there. Like this. And then make sure you get like some floor ridges in there. Something like that. And then maybe in the back here I'll do like a squarish one. And then maybe another square one right here. Sorry, I'm like painting upside down. <laughs> and probably have something sticking out of the top. Like that. So something kind of like that. It's cool. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and cure that in the lamp. Next, I'm going to be taking these super cool sponges. This is another nail tech hack that I have for you guys. Um, let me zoom out really quick. So you can see i bought these sponges this huge pack from ross as you can see it was only 2.99 for all of these different sponges and these work so perfect for ombre with gel polish um if you guys want to do ombre with gel polish or you've been struggling with it i do have a tutorial it was the first or one of the first videos i've ever posted and these sponges work so good with that and i've seen these at so many different rosses your guys's ross will probably have them so the thing i like about these is that these are like the makeup wedge sponges which i got some from the dollar tree and i didn't like because the wedge i don't know how to explain it i don't have any here with me but they have like an indentation here and when you're doing ombre you don't want an indentation on your ombre and these don't have anything they're literally just perfect little sponges and they work so amazing for ombre and you get that gigantic pack for literally three dollars which is crazy and seriously you guys go to your ross go look for them because you need them so now what i'm going to do is zoom back in for you guys right there and now this is what our halloween nails are looking like so far so what i'm gonna do with this little makeup wedge sponge is i'm going to be grabbing a little bit of black 
you know what we'll use the black that we had left over right here i'm just going to use a little bit of that black it can be messy that's actually the point so it's going to be messy and we're going to grab a little bit of that gray kind of like that and clean some off and then maybe a little bit more black i'm actually going to dab some off okay and then we're gonna go right here and we're literally just gonna dab on like some random i'm literally gonna destroy this little sponge and this is going to give it that really nice textured look i am actually an artist i'm a painter so i kind of do stuff like this randomly all the time and hopefully this works out better okay so now we're gonna go back in with more of that black dab some off i'm gonna go back in like this perfect exactly like that that's what we wanted so now i'm gonna go ahead and cure it again i damaged the sponge with like my little dotting tool time but it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna paint over it anyways so this is what's gonna look like it looks kind of like weird and like messy that's the point so now you're gonna grab your brush and you're gonna grab some more black i'm just gonna use black um you could do white i mean honestly it's up to you i'm just gonna do black just to keep the theme going so i'm gonna be drawing a little moon right here on the corner i'm just gonna go ahead and go in like this and i'm just gonna draw a c a c shape like that And then I'm going to connect it from the sides. So that's our moon. It doesn't have to look perfect i mean these are halloween nails so that's what it's gonna look like and then i'm going to grab more of that black and i kind of want to draw like a little bat i don't know if i'll be able to but let's try it out i'm gonna grab my tiny dotting tool and we're gonna try to do it with this i've never drawn a bat in my life so let's see how this goes um so you're gonna kind of go like Like this and like that and then draw some random little wings like this kind of like that you could kind of see what it is i mean if you're looking at it you'll be able to tell so just gonna do that right there and then that is our finished halloween nail i'm gonna go back in with a sponge right here and just try to go over this side a little bit so it looks even for our next design on this black nail what we're going to be doing is making it matte and we're going to be going in with our koopa matte top coat And this is what the matte looks like. I freaking love matte top coat. It's so cute. So then we're going to go in with our white. And I'm going to be using the brush that I cut up myself. And you're just going to go ahead and get a decent amount on there. You can leave this out. You're probably going to need your white again. I'm really messy when I do nail art. So I'm sorry in advance. So I'm going to grab it. And we're going to start off from this corner here and we're going to be making a spider web. It's super, super easy. You don't even need to be artistic for any of these. These are all, these all just require like little lines, to be honest with you. This one's super easy. The bloody one. Go like that. 
and then I'm gonna go like this. I'll probably do some more right here. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with the smaller one, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna be creating the little spider web lines, which go right here. And then for this one, I was thinking that we can do something for someone that doesn't want anything too Halloween-y or too gory, I would say. We're going to do like a cute little pumpkin design and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and grab our color Fireflies from iGel Beauty. And we're just going to go in with our little dotting tool. I'm actually going to use the bigger dotting tool. This one right here. And we're just going to go in and grab our polish 
and I'm literally going to make little dots around pretty much like that and I'm going to use my dotting tool to just smooth them out and you're going to go in the shape of a little pumpkin Kind of like that. And then right here, I'm going to do another one. like that and that's what it's gonna look like like literally just little random shapes okay and then we're gonna go ahead and cure that in the lamp a little bit of black and this one's gonna be more like a cutesy halloween vibe i guess you could say i'm really nervous this is so tiny This. Oops. Like that. And then you're just going to do You're just going to do a little stem like this. I hope he doesn't look like a little tomato. But now we're going to go ahead and do this on the rest of them as well. Go in with my long thin one again, and I'm going to go in with the same black. Or actually, I think we're going to do white just to switch it up. We're going to do white. And we're just going to do... little stars this one does need a little you you will need a little bit of practice for this one just because this one is a little bit harder
Okay guys, so now I'm just going to be grabbing my No Cleanse Top Coat from iGel Beauty. I really, really love this top coat as well, and I'm going to be top coating my finished designs. I really loved how they came out. Um, I like really, really love them, and I've never done any designs like this. I have done a jack, like, um, kind of like this before, but I've never, I've never done any of the other ones, so that was super exciting for me. I kind of want to make this one matte. I guess we'll just see together how it's going to end up looking. I'm just going to try it out. I've never actually done anything like that before. I hope it doesn't ruin the design. But it also, if you guys wanted to, like, change it up, you guys can either do, like, the whole jack face. Um, you guys can also add, like, some type of design up here. I just couldn't really think of anything right now. But, yeah, this matte one came out super cool. I love this one. This one's really cute if you want someone that wants, like, an accent nail or anything like that. So. And... Yeah, I really love this top coat. I highly recommend it. It's really nice and shiny, and I love the consistency. Um, and this Koopa Matte top coat is pretty good. I just want to try out new ones. I kind of want to try the Nail Supply Glamour one, to be honest. I've heard really good things about that one. Really get, I didn't get to use this um, glittery black gel polish. I really, really love this color. Um, so if you guys wanted to like incorporate any type of glitter or rhinestones into this like these nails that I did, you definitely could. It's definitely possible. This is how it looks matte. Super nice. I really like it. So, yeah. So if you guys wanted to incorporate any type of like um, glitter or anything like that into any of these, it would honestly look really nice and it would actually go really well. Um, I just didn't know where to add it into. But it, honestly, if I would have added glitter into the set, it would have been to this jack one. I would have probably made the black um, in the background like a glittery black and then painted the jack on top. I feel like that would have looked really cute. I just thought about it afterwards and it was too late. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I honestly really love filming it. I had a lot of fun. Um, and I'm so down if you guys want to see like any other type of like hand painted nail art videos. Um, I'm more than happy to film them for you guys. And I know for Christmas time, I'm definitely going to be doing some of those so yeah maybe before halloween i'll actually film another halloween tutorial with different halloween um nails so you guys can get kind of more ideas and just have some other stuff to work with i just wanted to film this video in advance so anybody that's looking for um any type of halloween designs as of right now can already have some ideas and yeah Hey you guys, so I just wanted to come in here really quick and say thank you so much for watching this video. This is how the nails ended up turning out. Um, I really, really loved them and I really want to do another Halloween um, like hand-painted nail designs. If you guys are um, down to see it, feel free to like leave a comment down below if that's something that you'll like. Um, I definitely love your guys' suggestions and ideas, so please give me video ideas down below if you have anything cool that you would like me to film. Um, that's like nail related, nail art related, or even like life related. I don't, I don't really care. Um, whatever you guys want to see, I'll film. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give me a like, um, and comment and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.